from the, not only the men and the youth, but the elders do have a role to play in any community. And I'm happy that you've taken time off to be here. Uh, good afternoon, distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Hannah Foster, and I work for the African Center for Democracy and Human Rights Studies. We are partnering with the uh, TRRC to ensure that um, the community also gets involved in this very noble task of making sure that we sit together, we say the truth about our, uh, what has happened, tell stories of what has happened, try to forgive and move on. But there is another component that we also want to emphasize as the African Center. And that is the need to promote peace, the need to live in peace, the need to ensure that we build a cohesive society. Because uh, I used to hear uh, the elders around me say, "Si jama la luneka hechi, jama mo muna indi luneka." If there is no peace, there is no development. No peace, no democracy. No peace, <laughs> no life for you. So uh, as a community, I believe peace should be on the top of the agenda. And after I heard uh, Mr. Dabo, was it Mr. Dabo who said something about after the life of the commission? Before the life of the commission, it should have been promotion of peace and making sure that we are our brothers. I hear a lot of people talking about, uh, yes, we, this man has become, became a monster. But he's a monster of our own making. Because we cannot exonerate ourselves. We are part of making him a monster. So uh, all of us should try to sit together, to devise ways, to devise strategies for maintaining peace, for building peace within the communities. I know that uh, we do have uh, a mediation and peace center in uh, URR. We don't have one here in Bansan. But we will try to see what can happen to make sure that we train some mediators who would be fit in the board when conflict comes. Many of us believe that when we talk about conflict, it's about a full-blown conflict where people are fighting, guns are out. But you can fight and you cannot have a gun. You might not have a gun in your hands because our the words that come out of our mouths are also um, part of the bullet that would cause challenges and problems within our communities. So uh, I, I believe we need to relook at ourselves. We need to revisit the way that we have been relating to one another. Yes, it is our community. If we choose to live in peace, we have to build that peaceful society. If we choose to, be, to live in conflict, then we should be prepared to flee and lose everything that you have worked hard for all your life. So the challenge is the right of our, um, of, of our courts because we are responsible for the lives for the community we live in. And uh, this particular uh, community forum was supposed to make sure that we are alive to it, that we all have a responsibility, yes, to make sure that we build peaceful and cohesive societies. And uh, on behalf of um, my uh, staff, John and Mambo, and all our partners, I'm talking about Sam, Mr. Sambu, Dabo, Mr. Gray, and all of you. I think um, they all deserve a round of applause. They've done a good, work, good job. Of <laughs> and one message that I want you to go away with. I'm sure as a lot of you have learned at least one thing here. So I want you to go back and share it. And if you do have any more questions, I'm sure before they leave, they will, uh, they will make sure that they leave contact numbers with you so that you can get back to Dabo, you can get back to Sam, you can also get back to um, Mr. Jane uh, so that they can sit together and re-strategize and uh, we cannot go away without thanking uh, the Canadian uh, Embassy in Dakar, who is represented here by Jean-Francois uh, Colombe. 
and we are pleased that uh, they have made it possible. You know, uh, many times we do have ideas, but we don't have the means to do it. And we are happy we want to say thank you for believing in the idea that we had put forward to you, that the DRRC needs support to make sure that we sensitize people, to make sure that the people themselves are, are sensitized so that they themselves would know that before the TRRC there was life, now that the TRRC is here, they need to play their roles. And after the TRRC, they have a role to make sure that the Gambia remains peaceful, the Gambia remains a democracy, and the Gambia develops. Thank you very much.